Alright guys, here's where we left off. Uh, this is the inner rocker patch panel that I put in. Um, once all the welds were done, I took the uh, Duraglass, which is a fiberglass resin, and uh, covered all the welds, uh, waited for that to dry, sanded it down 36 grit down to 80 grit. Alright guys, and here's some of the uh, materials that I used as far as body filler goes. So here's just a clip of me uh, mixing up the uh, Evercoat. Um, this is the polyester putty, I believe, um, that I'm mixing with the hardener. That sucks. Hmm. Rocket blew up. Make some putty. Gotta thoroughly mix it. See all those blue streaks? You can't have that. You gotta mix them all up. Alright, so here's some pictures of um, some of the body fillers I use. That's the uh, Duraglass fiberglass resin. The screen stuff is the first coat of the actual body filler. Um, these clips will just show different uh, areas where I applied the body filler and then um, begin sanding that down. I start off with 40 grit, go down to 80, finish it with 180, and then um, after blowing off any of the dust, wiping it down, I'll apply a thin layer of the uh, Evercoat polyester putty. Here's a couple close-ups of um, those patch areas after the uh, Duraglass is sanded down. Um, this is actually before I applied the first layer of the uh, body filler. And there you can see that light blue color, that's the Evercoat polyester putty. That green underneath it is that first layer of uh, regular body filler. Uh, so it's do a quick walk around showing you um, those areas now sanded down I believe down to 180 at this point So here is the uh, passenger side rocker um, with the first layer of the uh, body filler. Uh, this will then have to be sanded down once it dries um, using 36 grit 80 down to 180. I'll then cover that up with a thin layer of uh, the polyester putty and uh, sand that down probably to 220.
All right, we're gonna be mixing the uh, Evercoat polyester putty. It's the final layer of filler that we're gonna use on the uh, repair. And that has a uh, partner activator for it too. So basically all I'm doing is just uh, starting to cover up uh, the interior and the uh, driver's side door so I can start to spray the rockers with the uh, primer, 2K primer. So what I'm spraying with primer here is the uh, passenger side uh, mirror the uh, exterior part which is normally painted red on my truck for some reason it was black so I figured I'd just take that off, prime it and uh, spray it with the matching color alright we got the guide coat on the primer there's about four coats of primer, 2k primer on that just put the guide coat down and we're gonna sand that with uh, 320 wet with a block and then we'll go over it with 400 wet and we'll be ready to paint try the other side. so by applying that guide coat uh, once you start doing your wet sanding you'll be able to see the actual imperfections um, in the paint so once you have all of that guide coat sanded down with your 320 and then 400 uh, that primer should so be smooth as glass and have a nice reflection on it. Sticker. And once this is all wet sanded, all the edges are done, I'll retape it. When we paint it, it'll be masked off, and then I'll remove the tape and then clear over it with the whole side of the bed. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, so we got our bucket of water, our 320 wet dry sandpaper, that's soaked in there pretty good, and then our uh, flexible block. Right, so we'll start with this section here, get that nice and smooth. New paper. It falls on the floor, I gotta get a new sheet. We're back.
So you can already see the reflection of that bed in the primer. That's what you want. There's a little uh, guide coat here, still gotta hit. And along this edge, I'm gonna do it very gently by hand because I don't want to burn it through one, the paint, or two, the primer, which it's starting to do right here. Here's some pictures of the uh, truck after the primer has all been wet sanded down to 400. So I'm starting to tape off um, the uh, stickers, all the trim, getting ready for paint. Alright, here's the uh, tailgate um, that really didn't need to be painted. It had some scratches on it, but I don't want the entire bed to match. So. I basically took uh, my VA sander and uh, sanded it down with 180. And uh, once that was done, I uh, basically just wiped down, uh, sprayed it off, off all the uh, dust, cleaned it with a uh, prep solvent, and uh, just a tap cloth uh, right before I uh, began to spray it. Tiny edges around the handles, the uh, all the trim pieces, um, the logos, anything that was taped off that I couldn't get to with the DA. I took a gray scotch bright and um, really got into those corners because that's where the uh, paint or clear was set to peel if that part isn't cut correctly. So you really got to put um, a good amount of uh, detail work into getting those tiny little edges all stuck down. Before applying the paint, um, I did have to go over it one more time with the scotch bright just to get any of those shiny spots on the uh, panel uh, scuffed up. But as you can see, I have the truck covered and um, we're getting ready to apply the first coat of uh, base on it.
So what I did on the bed was I uh, just put base coat first down on where the primer was. Um, I w waited about five, six minutes for that to set, and then I sprayed the entire bed. Uh, this is actually me spraying, I think, the first or second full coat on the entire bed, including the areas that look around. This is a final coat of base. As you can see, I'm moving the gun a lot faster. Um, I didn't want this to start to run, so I wanted to get a thin final coat on the uh, tailgate and the bedside. Notice here I removed the uh, tape on the uh, 4x4 sticker because I'm applying the uh, clear coat now. So that's uh, three coats of base and uh, four coats of clear. I still have to uh, wet sand it and buff it. Came out pretty good though.
and here are some of the uh, final pictures uh, after the uh, paint and clear were applied. Um, now the next video set will show the process of wet sanding it and uh, buffing it out. Time for a beer break.